Greetings Highlanders fans and welcome to GoHighlanders.com's coverage of the 2011 women's soccer season. We sat down with head coach Veronica O'Brien to get her take on the upcoming season. Coach O'Brien, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Before we talk about the 2011 campaign, let's take a quick look back at 2010. The team was obviously disappointed with the results from a year ago as a good defensive club struggled to find the back of the net throughout the season. What do you think the returning players took away from that experience? You know, I think the th uh, thing they learned was to deal with adversity. You know, we, we had some very uh, unfortunate circumstances with injuries early, early, and, you know, and some players just not performing at the level we need to in terms of coming into camp. So I think what they took away from and which really showed in our spring season is that we really committed to our training, just individual player development, team development, and most importantly, just um, defining who we are in our mentality. So I think we had a tremendous spring, um, and we're really looking forward to this fall. Well, every year you have to lose some seniors to graduation and you yeah, lost a few last year including Sally Yunker, Candace Novus, Samantha McBride, Megan Fike and Rihanna Ray Gibbs. Who replaces their contributions both on and off the field this year? Well, I think all our all our returning player our returning players do. I mean, we had great leaders and all those players. And as always, you hate to lose your senior class. You know, they, they build you along the years. But I think you know we have a tremendous senior class returning. Uh, we expect all players to be leaders, but you know you've got. Our back line is predominantly a returning senior class of C.R. Hilpar. You've got Christy Adcock, Aaron Casimiro, Kate Hensley, Shelby Lewis. Um, you know, those have been very strong mainstays for us. So I think we're going to be looking towards them, and, and particularly Jessica White in our goal. Um, to us, she's been one of the top keepers uh, in the league, and so I think we're going to get great leadership from her moving forward. Well, you mentioned Jessica White back between the pipes once again. I believe this will be her third full season in goal for the Highlanders. What do you expect out of her as a senior? Well, just like I mentioned, you know, we're going to expect her great leadership. She has such a great presence and command in the back, you know, and it allows us to take a lot of attacking risks coming out of the back um, because we feel so confident in her ability um, to, to make big saves and big plays for us. So certainly her communication and, and her leadership off the field is a big thing that we look towards, and she's done a great job so far for us. You mentioned the veterans on the back line. Uh, what other returning players, maybe up front or in the middle, do we have coming back that you expect to make an impact this year? Well, we're going to relatively be actually pretty young up top, but very dynamic. Um, Deb Musa certainly was a returning player in the midfield. Um, she's just tough all around, so she'll be back in that midfield for us. Um, she's going to be surrounded by a lot of great new players. We have a couple sophomore transfers in there that have had some Division One experience, so I think that's going to help us with Marissa Jones um, coming out of Arizona. Um, played out at Eastern New Mexico, um, and then we have um, Andrew Ludi, who had a season at Delaware. I think those are going to add some experience for us up top. You mentioned the injuries last year. Is health going to be one of the biggest keys to getting that offense on track, or what other things we try to do offensively to? Put the ball in the back I the think it's two things. One, for us, the past uh, year and a half, we've had some very unfortunate injuries, um, and unfortunately, they've been to the attacking side of our ball. So that certainly has to be a priority for us and for the players, and making sure that they're taking care of their bodies and we're getting the proper rest needed for those players. Uh, and certainly um, the second part, key to that, is just having more of an offensive drive to us. And you know, when we get into that final third, we've always been a great creative team, but now how do we break down what we call the invisible wall of the 18 and start getting into, the, into that area? And so I think that's been a big focus for us um, because, you know, in the past years, you know, we've been very blessed and almost spoiled that we've had some offensive player of the years. We've had a player that, a go-to player that can just drive on their own and put balls, average 12 to 15 goals a game. And, and now we have to change that a little bit of ourselves. We, we've got to make sure we're getting scoring, which you want anyways, from a lot of different players. And, and so that's what our aim is um, going into the season. You'd love to see Jessica White play 90 minutes a match for all 18 plus matches this season, but in the event you want to give her a breather or if she gets a hangnail, <laughs> who else do you have uh, that can, can jump in? There? You know what, we, we've got a great set of goalkeepers. It's always been a strength in our program. Uh, Jessica Wilson last year was a freshman uh, who certainly came back um, just through the spring and through the summer uh, and showed um, so great in camp right now that she could be a starting keeper. I think with the addition of our, our freshman, Sarah Slaughter, um, she certainly has shown great promise. And so I think we feel comfortable in any situation situation we're in that if we had to use any three keepers that we wouldn't lose a step so I think we're in a good spot. We've also got a new assistant coach on the sidelines this year joining you and Wilt Kishimoto is Keyshawn Cordier. What can you tell us about his background and what he brings to the staff? 
Well, it's the first time someone's a little taller than me on staff, so that's great. <laughs> um, Keyshawn, you know, he was with us last year, so he certainly brings great continuity to our program. Um, he's got a great field presence to him. Uh, what we're enjoying is that he, he was an attacking player, so he's certainly helping our offensive side of the ball, so I think that's going to be a great addition to us. Um, and, and I think it's just amongst the coaching staff, as you do with your team, we just have great team chemistry, so I think that's going to be important for the program overall. He just had a scrimmage the other night against Biola. What did you learn about your team in that match that maybe you didn't know and what things were reinforced that you did know? You know, uh, the one thing we pride ourselves in is great match fitness, and I think we showed that last night. We kept a very high tempo over 90 minutes. Uh, we certainly did a great job of possessing the ball. Uh, which was something we've been really focusing um, in our style of play and how we're going to attack. Um, so those two things I was happy to see after maybe 10 days of training uh, of where we're at. We're way further along than we were last year at this time, so that's a good step forward for us. Um, and, and certainly like anything, you know, the hardest part of the game for any team is to score goals. You know, you know there's professional athletes who get paid millions to do that. And so that's certainly going to, has been our focus and we're going to continue to work forward in that area. Well, the non-conference portion of your schedule this year includes a number of tournaments, including hosting the UCR Women's Soccer Invitational August 26th and 28th. We welcome San Jose State, Mississippi State, and UC Irvine to campus. You also host the likes of Michigan and Southern Utah, travel to tournaments in Vegas, New Mexico, and St. Mary's. What would you say your overall philosophy is in scheduling that non-conference portion of your schedule? Well, you know, we try to, uh, in all areas, we always want to increase our overall RPI for our schedule each year and certainly help raise it within the conference. Um, I think we've got a good balance of teams. Um, you know, we've got a home stretch for a while. We have like four home games and then we're going to learn how to get on the road and really travel for about four games in two weeks. As you know, we go to St. Mary's tournament, we'll be back on a Sunday and back on a flight on Thursday to Albuquerque. and deal with some little different dynamics so we're trying to just toughen us up through that part because that's about two weeks leading into conference so you know we're just trying to build along um, and get a good balance of teams that's going to get us prepared for our conference because for right now our focus needs to be how we're going to improve ourselves and within the conference standings so are there any matches in specifically that you look at as benchmark matches that let you know how things are going prior to the start of conference play well for us I know when you come off a season that came off last year we, we have a philosophy we're just going to go one game at a time so you know like last night we just set goals for that game and we're going to measure that and we're going to move forward if there's benchmark games I mean I think every game is important there's not one game or less I mean certainly if you buy in and follow into rankings I mean we certainly got a lot of teams on our schedule that were at, in the NCAA tournament last year uh, Michigan being a team um, and hosting them here I think is going to be a good benchmark similar to teams in our conference that we're going to play uh, certainly Utah has historically been a strong team um, now I think they're in the Pac-12 now wherever they have shifted to. Um, so I think there's a lot of benchmark games along the way and there's not a game that we can take lightly at this point in time. Well the Big West Conference coaches poll came out last week. UC Irvine picked up seven of the nine first place votes. Pacific and Cal Poly receiving the other two. Long Beach State also a favorite. How do you see the conference shaking out this year? Well, you know, I think the great thing about the Big West Conference, it's always up for grabs for anyone. I think it's just got great strength overall, and I don't think there's just one team, uh, certainly, that you could say is just going to dominate it. Um, and like I tell the players, once you step between the lines, you just got to play the game, and rankings don't mean anything. I think if you know me, you've been with me long enough, rankings really don't mean anything to us. You know, we're going to step on the field, and we're going to believe in our ability to win every match we're in. And so, overall, as a conference, I mean, you know, we're going to look at ourselves, you know, can we be in that mix and get in to that top four and that's ultimately our goal and ultimately can we win the conference and move on. Well if uh, we get to the end of October and you are preparing for a first round Big West Conference tournament match, what are the things that have happened during the season that have made that a reality? Well I, I think we've stayed healthy, um, I think we've stuck to our game plan um, and I think those are going to be the two main things for us. Are we going to be able to stay and believe in ourselves and, and not let outside distractions get a hold of us because I think somewhat that was our issue last year. We were so worried about, you know, a lot of people kept saying, oh my gosh, they've got to score goals. Oh my gosh, they got to score goals. And I think our players got too much caught up into what everyone on the outside was expecting of them versus, you know, what they were expecting of themselves and what our goals were for our program. So I think that has to be our focus, that we stay true to ourselves and we stay healthy throughout the season. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. Good luck throughout the 2011 campaign. Thank you.